Well, looky here. Do you think I've got enough equipment here to put out a fire, maybe? Uh, my local fire extinguisher servicing company was in the hardware store this afternoon to do our yearly inspection on fire extinguishers at the store and I said hey wait while you're here I'm, let me run down to the farm and I have some old extinguishers I'd like you to check and service for me so I have um, this extinguisher here that came off the combine um, he looked at it right away and he said no that it's not worth servicing not worth putting the money into it but they had another one uh, used one there on the truck uh, that they sold to me and then this is one that I carry in the cab itself of the combine and they said no nope, that's just a disposable but lo and behold my local hardware store had same size fire extinguisher on sale this month for $19.99 so this one is going in the cab I'll take it out of the box first and this one is mounted back near the engine compartment on the combine I have one mounted on the step uh, here already that one was okay so let me get this one uh, mounted back near the engine compartment put this one in the cab so we'll be ready for any fire that may pop up while we are harvesting this fall it's been so long since I've turned on the camera I forgot how to use it I thought I had you on while I was going out in the field and pulling these ears but I didn't, so what I'm doing is I pulled some sample ears. I'm going to get a moisture check on them to see if it's dry enough to start harvesting. I talked to a neighbor farmer yesterday. He was shelling 17% corn, so I think if I can get this to 17, I'll start shelling it. I can uh, put it in the bin and blow some air on it and get it down to where it needs to be. Before that tropical storm came through, I was talking about uh, water getting down into the ears and causing it to germinate, but not seeing it now. That ear is not that great. Doesn't have men as many rows on it as this one. Uh, tips, uh, I think that water affected these tips a little bit. It's showing like it's dry. Well, on the top part it did. This bottom part, I can tell, is a little bit wetter. The shell's easiest if you go down with uh, two or three rows right down the middle like this. Get those two rows out of there. And then you can just roll it around to the side and it shells real easy then. Corn everywhere making a darn mess all right four ears is enough for a sample hmm I'm guessing about 18 percent I'm trying to mix it up here Uh, I've got to change my plate. I'm still on wheat. We've got uh, different plates for different grains. So we've got soybeans, oats, wheat, corn, peanuts. So this is the corn plate. Okay, I'm just turning, pressing the button, turning the dial until that needle gets to its lowest position. And you see that needle going down, 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 down. Then it's going to start going up, right about there, right there is about the lowest. And what did I say? Eight, almost 18%. Let me uh, dump 
this out and try it one more time. Start at zero, press the button, turn the dial, watch the needle go down, right about there is the lowest point, then it starts going up. Seventeen and a half. All right, so by the time it goes through the combine, it's going to pick up at least another point. So that's about eighteen and a half. Ah, that's that's going to be a bit much. I'm taking the last load of uh, old crop corn up to the elevator now. So I'm going to take this sample with me, see what their uh, moisture. A reader says and uh, we'll go from there. I am cleaning the corn bin out and I've got enough left over just to piss somebody off. The truck is full and I just can't get the rest of that on there. Damn it, that pisses me off. 10, 15 bushels maybe. So my tester was very close. The elevator checked my corn sample 17.3 and I was checking 17.5 so uh, testers right there on the money. Uh, I guess I'm going to wait a couple more days. As I said, by the time you run it through the combine, it's going to pick up another point. So that's going to put it at about 18.3. So I think I'm just going to wait a couple more days before I get in the field and uh, start shelling. I guess I should explain the ideal moisture uh, for corn is 15.5%. So at 15.5%, you do not get any dockage at the elevator when you sell it. Probably for storage, for long-term storage, you probably have to have it at about 15%. Uh, but as I said earlier, if it's about 17%, I can put it in the bin and turn the fans on and blow air through it for two weeks or so and get that moisture down where it needs to be. But 18 percent uh, it's going to be a little tough to blow air on it and uh, dry it down so that's why i'm going to wait a bit I had that nasty chain grease on my glove. That's why I grabbed the rag before I grabbed the ratchet. Didn't want to get that nasty grease on the ratchet handle. All right, new chain, new sprocket. There we go. Okay, uh, I need to check all of the gearboxes now to make sure they have oil in them. Okay, this is quite boring. You don't need to watch me do all of them so I'm uh, shutting you off Boy, I've got a fun job this morning. The last adjustment on this machine, as 
as you may recall, I replaced all of the knives here in the straw chopper. Well, now the darn thing is out of balance. So I am trying to balance this up. What it includes is a bolt with a couple of washers. I think that's pretty darn close. I moved it back. Uh, which direction? Oh, this way. So I moved it back. This was the position I started in on my first try. It seemed to be the best after I moved it back this way and back this way. I've put it here. This last go round, I put a second washer on here. I think I'm gonna try just one more smaller washer on either end and um, I believe I can live with that. I really hadn't given, uh, thrown this thing out of balance any consideration when I put the new knives in, if you recall, or maybe you don't. I had been sent one of these by mistake, uh, which these are the one of three rods that hold those knives in that straw chopper. So. Initially, I had put that one in, just not thinking, saying, hey, I have one new one, let's put it in there. And when I started it up, I, it was just a funny noise. It took me a couple of minutes to realize it was the straw chopper out of balance, and that was probably the issue. So I pulled that one out. I've ordered two more new ones. They're not here yet. So pulled that one out, put the old one back in there. It helped a little, but not a whole lot. Um, and maybe that's because I didn't keep those three rods in the same position as they came out. I don't know. So I'm waiting on the, on the other two new ones. So once that comes in, I'll probably change them out, put all three new ones in. But in the meantime, old ones are back in here. Made some adjustments with those uh, washers. Uh, as I said, I'm gonna add one more washer to each side and I think I can live with that. I, that should be okay. Um, and only other adjustment I have to make is I have to put the rotor in low speed and then we're ready to go to the field. We had a little bit of rain last night, but that's not stopping me. I'm gonna give this corn a try uh, this afternoon. Uh, it's Friday. I know I'm not supposed to start on a Friday because you'll never get done. Uh, if you start a project on a Friday, but I'm going to give it a whirl, see what that moisture is now. We've got some rain coming in tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow morning, I think, um, and then all next week looks good. So I, I want to try this, see what the moisture is going to be in it. See ya.